Hi there! Implementing search functionality in modern web applications can be really, really difficult. As a developer, I was always struggling with it, but then I found out about Algolia. And the great experience with Algolia motivated me to create a module for Next ecosystem that allows to easily integrate with Algolia and this is also why I have selected the, today's topic for the presentation, which is blazing fast search results in Next with Algolia. Let's start with the agenda. I will speak a few words about myself. Then I will also uh, give you a definition and also the description of Next framework, what it is, how it works. Then we'll move into the Algolia module, the module that I created for Next. And Finally, we will move into the demo session where I will show you in more details how this module work and how you can basically utilize it to deliver very good experience and also blazingly fast search results. My name is Jakub and I am a senior full stack developer at View Storefront. Apart from that, I'm also a Google developer expert in web performance and also I'm a ambassador for both Next and Algolia, as you can see here on the shirt. So what is Next? Next is a Vue.js framework for um, building web applications. And basically it, is, it comes with several useful functionalities out of the box. First of all, it is fast and furious. What does it mean? It means that this framework is basically optimized for the modern web. So it comes with several functionalities that will let you deliver very fast application, web application to your users. It also comes with the on-demand rendering. And how does it work, the on-demand rendering? It basically allows you to decide whether maybe some of some parts of your application should be application should be statically generated or maybe they should be server side rendered or maybe they should be rendered fully on the client you have full control over the rendering process in your application by using next apart from that you also get the support for seo and web vitals to deliver good search to deliver the good experience for the users and you also get the bunch of next modules that help you extend the default functionality of the framework itself. And also, Algolia is one of the Next modules that you can use. And I will show it later on. Basically, Next allows you to deliver very good both um, user and developer experience. So what is about this Algolia module for Next? So modules extend the default functionality of the framework of Next. So by using Next Algolia, we can easily integrate with Algolia to deliver fast search results. But it's not only about just fetching the results because we can easily do it on the client side, but by using this module, the Next Algolia, we can also fetch these results on the server side so that we can deliver better performance for the users because the search results could be fetched on the server side of your application and then just delivered as the pure HTML to the browser instead of forcing the user to fetch the results on um, the client side in the browser. Apart from that, you also get the support for view instant search. If you aren't familiar with view instant search, it is a um, collection of components or UI library of components that basically you only need to provide the refer reference for Algolia and then you will get um, a really nice looking components for displaying the search results. You also get the support for Algolia recommend and how it works, the easiest example for me to explain how Algolia recommend works is in the e-commerce e um, system. Imagine that your customer is visiting a product a page. So then by using Algolia recommend, you can recommend this specific customer to visit, let's say page B and page C, page C because they should, can be recommended as, for example, similar products. 
You also get this support for doc search. Doc search is usually useful for the documentation websites. So if you have ever visited, for example, view documentation, you will see this um, search bar at the top that when you click on it, it will say um, powered by Algolia. And this is basically this doc search. So very fast search results, easy documentation. And finally, this module also comes with uh, caching the requests and responses to basically deliver better um, search experience. If you're interested in learning more about it, I created this video, recorded this video about Next Algolia Storyblock and Tailwind, which is basically a crash course that will guide you through the process of building an application with all these um, tools, uh, which is basically a digi di digital um, composable application which is basically composed out of several several tools to deliver both uh, content and the search results. So now into the demo time. In here we have the same functionalities listed as we have seen before. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, we have some instructions here on how to in implement the um, Algolia module into the Nux application. So let's actually go to go to the code. And in here, what I have is a very basic Next free application. It's 3.5.3. So when I type yarn dev, it will start the development server. So when I go back to the browser and inspect localhost 3000, you will see here this welcome to Next page. So what I will do right now is I will install this module. So I'll close this for now. And I will say install yarn Algolia and uh, next chase Algolia. And next step while the downloading is going in the background is to add this modules section in the next config. So I will do it right now. So I will open up next config. And in here, I will type modules and inside at next.js slash Algolia. This basically tells Nux that I want to use this module for Algolia in my application. So I will save this file. And the next step I need to do is I need to add Algolia API key and Algolia application ID, two environment variables that will be used by the module to connect to Algolia and to fetch the search results basically. So it will look like this. And I have already done that in the .env file here. So basically, this module here will use the environment variables that I have selected and added here. So this is all in terms of integrating Algolia and Next. You can start using it right away. So we will do that. Um, what we will do right now is I will copy this part of the code. I will go to the update view in here. And here we have the template, which is basically the HTML part of our application. So I will open up a new tag here called script. And I will say setup and lang equals ts. This basically means uh, next, tells next that I want to use TypeScript here and the script setup, which is basically a um, syntactic sugar, sugar that allows me to write less code and have the same result. So I will copy here the um, this line and I will explain what it does in a second. You will see the error here, but no worries about that. The TypeScript declaration will be added when I, when I will um, run the development server. So what we have here, we have the composable, which is called use Algolia search. Composables are the way how view and next applications um, handle some logic and um, wrap it inside of a function, basically. So by using use Algolia search, we can basically fetch the search results. As a parameter here, we are, we are passing the index name of the index that we want to search through the index that we can set in the Algolia. And what we get is the, we can destructure what we get from the use Algolia search and basically get the result and search. So result will be the reactive value of the search results that we get from Algolia, while search is the search method that we will use to fetch 
the search results. So if we go here, you will see that we have this method called onMounted, which is basically a view um, lifecycle method. That means that when this component will be mounted, we want to trigger some functionality. So in our case, what we will do is we will search for the search results and the query will be Samsung. Samsung because I have like the um, default um, default dummy data in the Algolia, which uh, mainly contains phones and uh, yeah, Samsung iPhones, things like that. So that is why I will be using Samsung. So I will save this for now and I will go yarn dev. And what I also need to add here, apart from, as you can see, the, the TypeScript declaration is now okay. We see the auto completion of um, the composable and we can also see the types for the Algolia indices. So it's easier for us to have access to the result and the properties inside it. So what I need to add here as well is I will need to, in the template section, instead of the next welcome component, I will just display, display the result. So let's save it. Let's go to the browser and let's refresh the page. And as you can see, we have a bunch of search results. There is actually a lot of them. I can scroll this whole page because basically the search results weren't such as strict. We just search for the keyword Samsung. So if we search Samsung here, you will see that there is actually like 220 results. So that's why there is so many of them. But if we inspect the network tab here, and refresh the page, you will see that there is this request to the Algolia for the search results based on the Samsung keyword. So as I mentioned, this, um, this module also allows you to fetch the results on the server so that we do not force the user or customer to basically uh, fetch the results on the browser. So how does it work? Instead of using the use Algolia search here, what we will use is we will use the use async Algolia search, which basically works in a very similar way. But instead of fetching the results on the client, it will search or fetch the search results on the server. And then it will just deliver the search results to the, um, to the client, to the browser in a form of HTML. So I don't need this. And what I need? The index name is the same, test index. The query is also the same, it's Samsung. So what I need here to do is I need to pass data and hits, just like this. So let's go to the browser and let's now refresh the page. You see that there is no difference in the structure here, but there was no request sent from the browser. So basically we have the same result, but we are not forcing the user to send the request from the browser. So as of right now, we only have the raw data, the raw search results. So we would like to probably have it in a more um, UI friendly way. And for that, we can use view instant search support. How does it work? Is basically that we need to pass the instant search object to the configuration of Algolia module, where we will just select the theme of the UI components that we want to choose. So I will copy this and in naxconfig.ts file here, just below the modules, I will create a new object called Algolia. And inside of it, I will say instant search and theme. I will select the default one, which is Algolia. I will save it. And then the next step is I will need to do several things here. So I will just copy the lines here. And in my app.view, instead of this use async Algolia search, I will copy this. So index name is the same as the previous one, test index, but in this case, I am just using the variable. And I'm using a new composable called use Algolia ref which is basically a reference to the Algolia SDK. And thanks to that, we have access to Algolia search client. Next, 
I will need to import the IES components, which is basically the instance search component from the um, instance search library. So I will do it just like this. And next, I will just copy these lines here and I will add those components inside of this div here. So let's paste them. We have IES instance search component and as a prop, we are passing the index name, the test index, and the search client is Algolia. So the, we are passing the reference to Algolia. So let's save it. And let's go to the browser and refresh the page. And as you can see, right now we have those new nice looking UI components for search results that we can just easily fetch and filter uh, based on Algolia. So there is much more uh, into the module that you can use. So I would recommend you to check it out and check out the, the documentation and the module as well to learn about the doc search, about the indexer, about the use Algolia recommend. Let's go back to the presentation. And in here, I have two last slides. First of all, if you like the experience, make sure to visit the Next module slash Algolia, which is the repository for the Algolia module for Next. And yeah, for sure, leave a, leave a star if you like this experience. If you have some ideas how we can improve the Algolia module for Next, issues are always open for you to, to create one and recommend us what we can add to make the experience even better. That will be all from my side. Thanks for being with, him, with me today. If you'd like to reach me, make sure to check my profile on Twitter, which is at Jacob Andrzejewski. I'm uh, quite uh, active there. So if you message me, I will answer most probably in a few minutes. See you next time.